Hey everybody, how you doing? Oh, it's me, Artie. Oh, oh, hi. So, how are you? I'm doing okay. It's pretty hot here in Texas right now. It's like 100 degrees every day and I'm kind of getting used to it. <sighs> okay. So I'm going to do a review of a movie. I, I, I didn't even watch all of it. I started it. Just, and I wasn't paying attention. But by the end of the movie, I, I was paying attention. And I really enjoyed it. The movie is Shockma from 1990. And a lot. I think a lot of people have reviewed Shockma. And I, I, I like apes. I like monkeys. Primates. So any movie uh, with with them in, especially a horror movie, I always have interest in. But it's kind of been made fun of, so it's just hard to take serious, but at the end I really liked it. Um, Shockma is from 1990, it has two directors, and it stars Christopher Atkins, who was in The Blue Lagoon, Amanda Wiss, who was Tina from Nightmare on Elm Street, and a girl that, like, when I saw her, I was like, I know who she is, or I recognize, I recognized her. And it's Ari Myers, who's, uh, I think she was on Kate and Alley. And uh, she's really cute. I forgot, like, she's a cute, cute girl. And uh, it has a cool tagline, the world's most aggressive, the world's most aggressive primate just got mad. And I don't know, like, I think maybe chimps are more, even more aggressive. I don't, I don't know, but I know baboons are pretty aggressive. And before I forget, there's also a thrash band called Shockma. Oh yeah, it also has Roddy McDowell in it. In it. And it's a cool idea. It's a. I guess they're college students, and they're in a in one of the the, the school or one building of it, and they're having a role playing game, like after hours. And uh, the baboon Shockma, I guess they were doing some kind of experiments on it. And then it just, I think they were like to make it calm. I could be totally wrong. But it just wound up making it more aggressive. So it gets loose and starts attacking. Uh, and then you probably know about this. And it starts attacking the people playing. And it's not, it's not gory really. It is bloody and the attacks are pretty brutal. Uh... Baboons are are scary. Like you've seen their jaws. I know they can kill. They can kill cheetahs. So that would be scary. Like if you didn't know a cheetah, a cheetah, a baboon, you know, rounds a corner and like rips your face off. Yeah, if you heard like chimp attacks. But then I, I liked. Uh, I don't know what it is about Chris Ratkins. Maybe because he kind of reminds me of. of uh, Luke Skywalker kind of. I, mean, I wonder if he tried out for Luke. I don't know. He's pretty good. And then uh, Tina from Nightmare on Elm Street. It was cool to see her and something else. And then uh, Kim Ari Myers, like she's a princess. They have they have to save. So pretty much she's just like at the top of the building, and then she's just waiting for them to come get her. Like whoever finds her wins. So she doesn't know that Shockma is killing everybody. And uh, Chris, Christopher Atkins, like, he st starts yelling for her. And she doesn't come out. This is, like, at the end. And he gets mad at her. He's like, why didn't you come out? Like, he gets, he gets I mean, because pretty much it's just them two left by, by that point. And she's like, well, you didn't say the words, you know. It's, a, it's the game. We're playing the game, aren't we? And then she still doesn't know and... He just like kind of storms off. He's you know thinking about Shockma killing everybody and like having her in danger. And she's all, well, you didn't say anything about my outfit. And she seems hurt. She seems really nice girl that you would really like. And then like he tells her to leave, which is the right thing to do, but she won't. She's like, I won't leave you. I was like, oh, that's a cool chick. You know she's I, can, I don't know if they were together or what. I wasn't paying attention. But, you know, she just doesn't want to abandon him. And I was like, that's cool. Oh, but then what happens... Uh, I'm sure you can guess what happens to Kim. 
and uh, and then uh, it had a cool ending. I don't know. And then I looked at other reviews here on YouTube, and I read reviews on the IMDb, and a lot of people like it. it I thought it would be like trashed, but it seems it's a, like a lost. It just seems you know got lost in the shuffle. It was 1990. All the horror movies that came out at that time. I don't. I remember that. Yeah, that was kind of a bad time. For horror. <coughs> oh yeah, and uh, and I saw it on Amazon Prime. Also, but I kind of want it. I mean, I can watch it anytime I want. But I would like to have a physical, especially a VHS. So I looked it up on Amazon. The VHS is about. It's not too bad, or it's not like outrageous. It's like 18, so when you're shipping, it'd be like 23. DVD is even cheaper, DVD's 15, but the Blu-ray is 75. I'd rather have the VHS. I mean, nobody's gonna pay 75 bucks for a Blu-ray. I wouldn't pay $75 for any movie. But the VHS, like, that would be, that would be cool to have. Um, I don't think I'd buy it. I, yeah, I could just watch it. Well, I, I do, but yeah, but I do. Maybe the DVD actually. I might get the DVD. Just so I don't have to watch it on my computer. I could watch it on TV and show it to other people. Uh, almost. I don't know if I've reviewed Primal Rage. That's another like monkey madness horror movie. It'd make a good double feature. So Shockma, man. Oh, jeez. I'll give a. I'm gonna give Shockma. I'm gonna give it four out of five. Man, no sands of fate, because I really enjoyed it. Yeah, it could have been gorier. I mean, there is. I wasn't. Even pay I know there was blood and like some. When they find uh, Tina from Nam Nam she was like, man, she looks dead. So that was pretty gruesome. I mean, it wasn't super disturbing, but I was like, she did a good job of playing a dead body. And there is a lot of blood. There's. It is pretty bloody. And Shockman's cool. He's he's heard some reviews say he's kind of cute. I guess he is, but I think he's just he's pretty scary. And there's a part where he attacks Christopher Atkins, and it looks it looks like it's the real ape on top of him. So yeah, I just wanted to say a few words about Shockman. Uh, it just uh, yeah, it was like one of the better movies I've seen lately. Was, I have uh, my list on Amazon Prime and. Everything I just I'll just lately I've been just stopping movies, and I don't even want to finish them. Not the ones that I got from Unearthly DVD though. So yeah, that's a uh, shock mug. Check it out.